we started with this in the inaugural session, uh, having set these objectives of uh, the open the completion of training, then we will be able to have enhanced understanding and awareness of challenges and prospects of biodiversity management in the evolving context of climate change. And the second objective was be aware of multidisciplinary approaches to develop a biodiversity and socioeconomic knowledge base. And the third one is to be familiar with and have first-hand experience of various scientific and participatory tools and methods for biodiversity and climate change assessment, including the use of geospatial and economic valuation of ecosystem services. So with these ob objectives, we started our session. And what I'd like to show or share with you is this evaluation that we have done. So before we started our session uh, or the training, we came up with a few questions regarding these uh, variables, like biodiversity in general. So what is your understanding level in terms of biodiversity in general, plant diversity, animal diversity, and so on and so forth. So these variables were the outcome of the pre-training assessment. And when we completed this morning, we found that we have been able to achieve some success. That means the number of people who said that we have very limited uh, understanding regarding animal biodiversity uh, came down from 15 num number to 7 number. So likewise, for climate change models, 18 to 9. So this is one indication of whether we have been able to achieve our goal or not. The way we have con uh, conducted within a very limited time, so many diverse subjects, uh, and uh, there, there were variation of understanding levels also within the participants. So this is quite uh, impressive. Well, in general, uh, a good overview on the biodiversity and management in the face of climate change as well as recovered well. It was a, a very ambitious training. Thank you for organize and give us such a great opportunity to share the experience and also the knowledge. And it's helped us a lot. At one point, I'd, I'd like to say that last year I went to the field with Fu, and uh, she did some field work in her area. And uh, at that time, I have little idea about the participatory approach. The whole idea I know, but uh, how to put into practice, uh, I have little idea. And after this training, I, I have got so many tools and uh, also the practical uh, exercises. And I think it, it will help me to help her a lot in future. One word I, I really want to say from this workshop is linkage. But for me, it's because uh, as what I have said before the training, I'm doing research very related to this topic climate change, not biodiversity, but natural resource management in general and livelihood. So I, I know this is different components, but after this training, I feel more connection between the different uh, link connection about the topic and more improve my understanding. I really uh, like to thank you for conducting a wonderful training program. The entire training program in nutshell has been uh, very focused Though it covered almost every aspect of the biodiversity conservation, management of course, and a recent subject that how it can be related to the climate change. The exercises part were really very interesting. And um, for example, the participatory approaches, practices, what we conducted in the field, there were the exercises uh, right from the day one. They were very, very interesting. The original training on biodiversity management and climate change will be held by ICPC model creators. Wider in scope, more knowledge, introduce adequate techniques to do assessment and construct ability for our job relating to the biodiversity conservation. On behalf of the Ministry of Forestry, First Department, I would like to thank AC model. It was a wonderful experience uh, to participate in this training. Uh, it is quite relevant and uh, applicable in our field. Uh, as far as this time is concerned, 14 is to cover all these uh, aspects in biodiversity management and climate change and even the GIS aspect. It was a difficult job, but the organizers have uh, managed to uh, keep all those uh, kind of things as far as uh, the course content is considered, and it is very good. They were um, a diverse group and uh, people representing different uh, backgrounds, academic backgrounds and different institutions. So. It may be a, a different, different level of understanding and knowledge for different people, but however, we could grasp uh, different varieties of knowledge 
and uh, from this training. And I think it was a fruitful one. We are taking home a lot of uh, thing, knowledge with us and try to apply this knowledge in our real fields. And that is what it is important. The type of people whom we have invited uh, in the training is itself uh, we have to see. We have government officers, we have researchers, we have NGOs and CDOs. Huh? So you can see the range uh, of the participants. Participants coming from three uh, landscapes. We started uh, thinking to work on Kanchanjunga, then we involved uh, broad participants from Kailas and also participants from Brahmaputra Salvi. In one way it's good because from uh, one landscape to other landscape you are sharing, you are learning, apart from the classroom and exercises you are also having interaction. That was quite a good opportunity. This being the first uh, training I would certainly say that uh, it is a learning exercise for us and I would not say that you are a trainee, you are a contributor uh, to the uh, development of this training model. You can imagine the type of elements that were uh, packaged in this training. So this is a general training, a good training uh, to have an overall view and to get an idea. I like really comment from the Chinese colleagues. A socio-economic researcher and a plant ecologist researcher, when they go to the field, they normally go as friends, but they are not able to really transpire between them. And this training has provided for a socio-economist some knowledge about the plant uh, science so that uh, the person understands and the other person understands socio-economic. This is one of the intention, the multidisciplinary. You are here as our partners and we would not like to end the training here. We would like to see that more interaction and uh, productive exchanges takes place in future. So your exposure, your training in this uh, particular topic is going to be quite vital and important. And whatever you have learned should be used when you go back so that we are moving towards the same common goal of conservation, climate change adaptation, and bringing uh, a considerable meaningful livelihoods for the people living in the mountains and also the ecosystem services to the downstream people and to the global community. I think for us this is not only a thing of, it's great that you've done this and you've gone through it, but also we have expectations. I think all, all of you in one way or the other way are linked to our three landscape programs even much more. We're looking forward to work and continue to work with you. And uh, we would expect and hope to see many of you in one way or the other uh, back uh, either in the field, contributing in one or the other seminar, participants of the on behalf of the management. Thank you very much for